homes and homes. The reality, Paul said, Satan has hindered us. A very real being, a very active being, a very powerful being. And if we as Christians in the year 2007, going into the year 2008, if we do not take this seriously, we'll be destroyed. I'll tell you, in my heart sometimes, sometimes choke, choke, over how the devil has hurt young people who are dear to me, dear to us. God, and not just young people, people in their 20s and 30s, who just has them so blind to the, to the importance of some basic things in the Christian life and just becomes a joke and just becomes something we tolerate when in reality we see them devouring. Reality of the devil. The Bible says in Psalms, the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. I want to suggest to you, and I'm not trying to add anything to the scripture, but I think equally true, the fool has said in his heart, there is no devil. I think it's just as foolish, just as foolish to deny or ignore the reality of our enemy, Satan, as it is to deny or ignore the reality of God. So, first thing I want us to consider is the reality of Satan. Paul said in 1 Thessalonians 5.18, Wherefore we would have come unto you, even I, Paul, once and again, we tried again and again. Wanted to be there, but Satan hindered us. Second thing for I'd like for us to consider is the resistance of Satan. The resistance of Satan. Satan hindered us. Now, I think it's interesting. You know, you can learn almost as much from what the Bible doesn't say as by what it does say. Are you with me? Everybody with me here? Alright? Thank you. Turn to say amen. First next is sleep, give him an elbow. Wait for me.